Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video we're going to be looking at the free hit team for the 5% series. That is people following this are trying to finish in the top 5% globally and they're hopefully do okay in their mini leagues. If you've not got your free hit chip left then you might want to watch this anyway just so I get a few more views but hopefully I'll be able to release a video tomorrow I guess on saying what you need to do. Failing that I'll have to try and get it out Friday morning, but I'll try and get something out tomorrow. So there's only seven fixtures this week, and I'm interested in particularly Villa at home to Bournemouth, Spurs away to Southampton, Chelsea at home to Everton, Arsenal at home to Palace. Regarding Forest and Newcastle, they're not green for me because Forest at home are very good, Newcastle defensively are very good, but neither are perfect. I don't think you can bank on for sure which team's going to be winning that. Bournemouth are improving, so one or two players from there might be okay. I think I've only got one on my list. Brentford and Leicester, again, there's not a shoe in there, as in who's definitely going to win. Could be goals, probably won't be clean sheets, but there may be. I quite like Leeds, although they're unpopular. They're away to Wolves. I know Wolves defensively have been quite good, but Leeds can be explosive given the right circumstances. And apart from the bench, I don't care about Southampton, Wolves, Everton or Palace players this week. So I'm going to show you five pages and from each page you want to choose however many players it says at the top and at the end of choosing your players you want to have four bench players. One's the goalkeeper and three other players and it's pretty much up to you how you do this. I would suggest getting some of the good players. The good players tend to be tend to be the more expensive players. Obviously you're restricted you can only have three from any one team and there's certain formation restrictions like you have to have at least three defenders, two midfielders, one striker, and the rest is up to you. So pick two of these goalkeepers. Pope from Newcastle, Ramsdale from Arsenal, Martinez from Aston Villa, Kepper from Chelsea, and Ward from Leicester. But Ward's going to be your bench keeper, so one of those other four, that's the one you're playing. The only thing against Ramsdale, for me, would be you can only have two other Arsenal players, whereas there's so many Arsenal players to choose from, you may want to choose one of the other three so you can still get three Arsenal players outfield. But if you want to go for Arsenal, that's fine. Pick five of these defenders. Trippier from Newcastle, Chilwell from Chelsea, James from Chelsea, Saliba from Arsenal, Gabriel from Arsenal, Zinchenko from Arsenal, Shah from Newcastle, Davies from Tottenham, Botman from Newcastle, Consa from Villa, Worrell from Nottingham Forest, but he'd be on your bench. Perud from Southampton, but he'd be on your bench. Midfielders, pick five of these. And it doesn't matter which five, really. Sun from Tottenham, Saka from Arsenal, Madison from Leicester, Odegaard from Arsenal, Trossard from Arsenal, Martinelli from Arsenal, Rodrigo from Leeds, Buendia from Villa, Almiron from Newcastle, Gibbs White from Forest, but he'd be on your bench. Bailey from Villa, but he'd be on your bench. Somerville from Leeds, but he'd be on your bench. And then pick three of these. Kane from Tottenham, Tony from Brentford, Havertz from Chelsea, Watkins from Villa, Isaac from Newcastle, and Buemo from Brentford, Solanke from Bournemouth, but he'd be on your bench. And then Johnson from Forest, who may be injured, but in any case, he'd be on your bench. Regarding the benching order, if you put them in order of price, that's pretty much going to be all right for this week, I think. Now for the captains, hopefully you've got at least two of these. So the first one you see is your captain. The second one I show you that you see would be your vice captain. If you haven't got two of these, I suggest you either go back and change your team or else you choose your most expensive players that aren't on the list for the captain or vice captain. So captain, if you've got Kane, he gets to wear the old mule hat. After Kane, it's Saka is the next in the list. Saka. <laughs> Sounds like a Japanese drink, Saka. <laughs> uh, Odegaard from Arsenal. Next in line would be Havertz from Chelsea. Watkins, because of his massive hairstyle in this picture, he has to have a big hat. And then Tony. Hopefully you got two of those. If you haven't, it really doesn't matter. You can still stick with your team. And like I said, just go for the most expensive players and you'll probably be all right. Hopefully that all made sense. I'm 
going to hope to try and get another video out tomorrow which will show the scores from game week 28 which we're still in at the time of recording and then I'll see if I can give a few hints for those people that don't have their free hit left but are doing the 5% system. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>